I'm Guy Wilmot, manager RSBB Bird and Wild Coffee. I've been involved in coffee for over 12 years in, co in coffee importing and roasting and actually I've become much more environmentally aware over the years and so over years I saw at trade shows I saw that the idea of bird friendly coffee and shade grown coffee which really not many people know about in Europe yet uh, in North America it's quite well known people are talking about it and I really wanted to bring bird friendly and shade grown coffee over to the UK um, and that's how Bird and Wild Coffee came to be. The reason why bird friendly and shade grown coffee is really important is that generally speaking if you look at how coffee is grown all over the world 90% of the world's coffee is what we call sun grown coffee which means that it's grown out in the open they basically clear some land they grow the coffee and it's so intense the sun basically the sun's all over the coffee it keeps growing and you actually have two harvests a year so it's actually great for profit but unfortunately it's really bad for the environment so you have to put down a lot of fertilizer a lot of pesticides and that all goes into the water courses and actually after about 15 20 years quite often that co that land is no longer usable and you have to move on to more coffee so bird friendly and shade grown coffee is the absolute opposite it's actually how coffee grows naturally is under the shade of other trees so farmers they they grow uh, lots of other crops uh, timber uh, papaya mango banana and have the coffee growing underneath and that is what we call shade grown coffee bird friendly coffee is certified by the smithsonian institute in washington to actually help protecting uh, migrating bird populations so that they can keep coming back uh, back from the states to central america each year uh, so as we've discussed with sun grown coffee there is no place for them to habitate on uh, or feed on because the pesticides have killed all the insects which they feed on in the case of bird friendly coffee actually there's still uh, the trees uh, and land for them to habitate on come back each year as well as all the insects for them to feed on so we can get our coffee and, and you know enjoy the coffee that we want to drink uh, and the lands are in great condition for generations to come and for bird populations to flourish bird and wild rspb coffee is great quality coffee because the fact that it's actually shade grown coffee grown in small lots by basically small farmers who are growing this coffee uh, means that it's basically hand grown, hand harvested. If we look at sun grown coffee, we're talking about huge areas of land that are harvested by machine very often, along with tons of pesticides and chemicals. The end result is mass market coffee. This is artisan grown coffee and you can, it reflects in the cup. We're really proud to actually partner with RSPB charity in the UK and give 6% of all our sales because we talked about how we help origin and help protect the migrating lands but we also think about the UK and how we can actually protect bird wildlife in the UK with the nature reserves with RSPB so that's a wonderful um, circle that we can actually complete from origin to the UK so you know that every time you drink bird and wild you're helping both the origin and the UK Bird and Wild is a really new company. We just founded in September 2017 and we've already got a cardo on our books, several distributors, RSPB shops and lots of offices that actually realise we can make a difference just one coffee cup at a time by you know, using Bird and Wild as our office coffee. So there's so much more to come and we're really excited about the future.